When she moved in, she had no idea. Hi, this is the Professional Amateur Hour coming to you with another review. This week, Leo sent me Alone. And this movie also has an alternative title of Captors. And this movie was directed by James Cullen Bazak and stars Yulia Klass, Bruce Davidson, and Michelle Brook, among others, of course. The story of this movie follows this woman and she has escaped sex trafficking 10 years ago, but it has left her, you know, very traumatized and uh, she has some like psychosis because of it as well. And she's also poor, she's almost living on the street, and then she finds out she has mysteriously inherited this house from an uncle she doesn't actually have. And it's way out in the woods, it's like this big mansion, I guess. And so she goes there with her lawyer and then she has to stay there for a few days. There's no electricity or anything. But then, you know, with the house, she starts kind of like reliving kind of her, her, her trauma and whatnot. Also, are there like people in the woods trying to, you know, mess with her? Well, you'll have to watch the movie and find out. All right, so let's discuss what works with this movie. Well, I actually enjoyed this one as like a thriller or suspense movie. It definitely has like that interest where they're very kind of stressful and, and, and uh, thrilling as well. You never really know what's happening, especially with like the psychosis and whatnot. And so I thought it was like a very effective kind of psychological thriller. Also, it, like a character study as well with this, because there's only really one character throughout the whole movie. So, you know, this psychological character study. And I thought it was really well done. I thought it was a very like effective implementation of suspense. Definitely, definitely builds on suspense throughout the whole thing. Uh, I was definitely attached to the woman as well. You you know, you want to get her to get over her trauma too. And like reliving that trauma is also, you know, intense as well. So I thought it was a very, very effective use of kind of just the setting and, and, and everything else that really goes into this to make it a good thriller. In addition with the setting and the music, I think that really works well together. It's like this cabin in the woods or mansion in the woods. I think it's supposed to be in like California somewhere. But, you know, the woman's walking around in the snow and with the music, I like half expected it to turn into like a Disney movie with like birds coming down and landing on her. Uh, that never happens, but like all of it just works to be very engaging to the audience, I find, and really brings it into it. Same with the camera work. The camera work is very clear. All the shooting and, and sets are, are very nice and set up very nice. And so, you know, you're never confused about what's going on and, and really does get you engaged in, in the woman and, and what she's going through. And so that's, you know, definitely very good. And that brings me to what doesn't work with this movie. And I had to sit here and think about it for a while because, you know, everything was done like pretty well. Like nothing was really poor. Um, the only thing I would say is like it, there's no horror elements. It's not really scary at all. It is like thrilling and suspenseful, like I said. But if you're looking for like scares, you're not going to find it here. In addition, there didn't seem to be that many like stakes in the, in the movie or in the plot, like like, it's just this woman and having to deal with her own psych psychosis and trauma and whatnot. So it didn't seem like there was, like, anything to really lose. Like, I, I never got that her hallucinations were going to, you know, really hurt her. Because, again, they're just hallucinations. Um, and, like, that type of stuff. So it doesn't seem like there's any real, like, gravitas to any of her actions. And ultimately, I would say it's just, like, you sitting there, like, watching this woman for a week live, live in this house dealing with her stuff. And, you know, it's, it's interesting, like I said, it's a pretty, like, thrilling character study, but um, it's not particularly exciting, I'll say that. So who would I recommend this movie for? Well, I think if you're into suspense or thrillers, and you really don't mind that kind of lower budget stuff, then definitely turn this one on. I'm actually really surprised with how engaging this movie was. I was really engaged. Like, I, I looked at my phone maybe once, like... And that's it. Usually, you know, with kind of boring movies, it's a lot more. But with this one, I was really highly engaged and really was interested in, in the woman and what was going on with her psychosis and whatnot. So all of that really did work. As for rating, I got to give it the average score of five. And having said that, I think that's all I wanted to say. So like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.